Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Unfortunately, life sometimes gets in the way of things that really matter, namely taming prehistoric creatures in Ark. Today, I am going to be bringing you a taming video on two of the aquatic creatures found in the Ark Editions mod, specifically the Archelon and Xyphactinus. The Archelon and the Xyphactinus are really basic tames. The Archelon, that's the giant sea turtle, is a passive tame, and the Xyphactinus, which is the toothy looking fish, is a knockout tame. So, to start things off, we'll go after the turtle. As always, I'm using Creature Finder Deluxe in order to help me locate one. Here on Ragnarok, these guys typically like to hang out down here in the southwest corner of the island. So, we're going to go ahead and target this one. I'll fly on down there on the wyvern and bring you back when we're ready to get started. So we've located our little turtle friend here. Um, he's in the shallow water which makes things quite convenient for me. Uh, these guys can come up onto the shore and they'll kind of slide around. They are super slow on the land obviously but they can do it. Uh, while we're waiting I'm gonna take out this stupid bird because I hate these things. Come here. Zap. Alright, so I've already fed him once. Um, like I mentioned before, Awesome Spyglass will show you the taming effectiveness and it will let you know when they are ready to eat again. Which is another reason I love this mod. These guys uh, will get targeted by things like Megalodon and even the Xyphactinus. Give them another kibble. So if you uh, encounter one in the open ocean, which is typically where you're gonna find them, uh, just be aware that you're gonna have to kind of protect him. Here we go, last one. And it's a male, let's say, I have no idea how to spell this. Donatello, let's, Let's say that's the way we spell it. And that's all there is to this one, so we'll uh, take him back to base, craft the saddle up. So unfortunately, I don't have enough Ingram points to unlock the Archelon saddle. So I had to send one over from my island character. Um, but you can unlock it at level 76 with 44 Ingram points. Craft it right in your inventory like the other saddles in this mod. It is a little expensive, um, as you can see. Anyway, now that we got that, let's throw it on our boy. All right, so now that we got Turtle Bro in the water, we're gonna show you what he can do. So, the main attraction of these guys really is that they are immune to the jellyfish. So, try to sting me jellies, go ahead, look. You're powerless. Um, and as you can see, they do extra damage, like a lot. And it broke my scuba. Uh-oh. Um, and then they also get a buff, as you can see up there in the top right. But other than that, there is nothing special about these guys. They are quite slow, as you can see. They are not great at fighting anything else besides jellyfish. The only other plus, I guess you could say, about them is their saddle seats and extra four people. So, if you want to go on a nice, leisurely little stroll through the ocean with your buddies, uh, I guess this is the one to do it on. So, one more thing I wanted to mention about the Archelon, uh, as far as movement goes, when they go straight forward, they have a decent speed, but when it comes to descending and ascending, it is super slow. But one more thing I found that they can do, which is kind of cool, is they can Tokyo Drift. You will never catch me! <laughs> the Virgin Carbo Nemesis versus the Chad Archelon. Come on, you can do it. You can get up that. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, oh, he did it. So for the Zyphactinus, I had to move over to my character on Crystal Isle because they no longer spawn on Ragnarok. So overall, Zyphactinus is simple to tame on paper. It's just a knockout and feed, but in practice they are quite difficult, namely because they have very high torpor and you usually will end up killing them before you can knock them out. This one I'm checking out right now, you can see only has 2.6k health but has over 10,000 in torpor. So the best way to do it is use shocking trank darts if you can. Obviously if you're underwater that's going to not be possible. So we are going to try and lure this one up onto the shore a little bit. I'm going to build a trap that comes up onto the shore and then we will shoot it from the shore if possible. It's going to be a relatively simple trap. So one more thing I want to do here is pick that up. I want to throw down the double doors here because I'm pretty sure the berry can get through the double doors. Yep. So did it? Where did it go? Is it all the? It's all the way over there. Great. Okay. Throw on the suit. not even hurting the turtle. That's crazy. I guess they can't damage turtles. There was aggroed. There, come on. You coming? No. So this is another part of the process that can be extremely annoying. Bite me, bro. Come on. Three years later, and we finally got him in. All right. So I'm going to be using the shocking trank darts to get the most out of it, um, since they have such high torpor. Even this might not be enough. But ideally, this is what you want to do if you can get them close to shore. Um, can be easier said than done, as you saw. Oh, I'm an idiot. For some reason I thought it was only 10,000. And there we go. So, like I said, simple on paper, not so much in practice. Look at this idiot. What a loser.
So with our toothy boy tamed up, let's go ahead and craft a saddle for it. Right there. Level 55, we can unlock the Zyphactinus saddle and craft it in our inventory as with all the other saddles. So I did go ahead and tame up a second one because I wanted to take them out and see if they get a pack bonus. I'm not 100% sure if they do, but we will find out momentarily. So now that we've finally tamed them up, let's take them out for a spin and see what they can do. Whoa, okay. I can get some hang time. So with the left click is a basic bite, and then the right click they will dash forward. And smaller creatures they can grab in their jaws. And they also get a buff when they're in the blood cloud. Ah, oh, my other one died. That's okay. I mainly wanted it to see if it got the pack buff. Now one more interesting thing that these guys can do is they can actually get on land. They actually get a debuff called Land Lover when they're on land. And if you stay out here too long they will suffocate and die. Um, you can actually jump while on land with spacebar. So if you end up getting yourself beached you can hop around until you get back in the water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for the Archelon and the Zyphactinus. Thank you for watching this video. Coming up next is going to be the new creature, the Helicoprian, so stay tuned for that. Love you, bye.